everyone, welcome to my channel. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but today I'm back with a video on the new Fenty releases. Today I'm going to review the new, where to go? <laughs> the new Fenty Beauty, what's it called? Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder, as well as the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. Now, for the concealer, I picked up the shade 350 because it's what is advertised as the complementary pair to the foundation. I wear the shade 350 in their foundation. I love this foundation. I wear it every day. And I feel like it gives me the right tone, the right coverage, and it doesn't feel heavy on my face. Now, what's being advertised is that this concealer is supposed to be the next best thing basically that they launched and it's supposed to give you amazing coverage and, and creaseless and everything and Rihanna's already thought about okay when these go together you don't want 350 the foundation as well as 350 the concealer in the same shade she went ahead and already made it so it's complimentary so it's slightly lighter they go under the eyes so I can go ahead and just show you that it's not exactly the same shade This right here is the foundation, so the foundation is obviously darker, and then the concealer, which is right here, is lighter. So, ooh. <laughs> and it's definitely lighter, and so far, I have it on my face. I'm going to show you as I apply the products. Um, I really like the concealer. Um, I think Rihanna really did her thing as far as the concealer goes. Um, but let me not spoil that because you're supposed to be watching the video. <laughs> and then the powder I got in the shade Honey, um, which is supposed to be a more brightening powder, which looks like that. So that's Honey, Ooh, right there. And yeah, so these are the products I paid. Literally, woke up today, the products just dropped today. I woke up and I was like, I need to go to Sephora grab these products this is already selling out when I got to the store I was like oh my god tell me you guys have more because I need this 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 powder like I wanted to do this review not only that but me being me I'm like I needed those new products and um, yeah so that's so that's that's that now if you want to see my first impression of these products as I open them and pull them out of my little Sephora bag just keep watching and I've already put on my foundation and my eyebrows and I'm going to go ahead and just show you my first impression of these products. Now I didn't buy the um, Fenty sponge but I have my beauty blender. So let's see what it says on the concealer. It says instant photo soft, photo soft coverage for all long wear. Light as air, crease proof. You go test that. And um, yeah, it's all it says on it. It doesn't really give you instructions on how to use it. Okay, let's open it. This is crazy. Okay, this is what it looks like. It looks just like the foundation. Like a mini version of the foundation. Okay. Let's open this. It has a slight smell, but it's not like a fragrance. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna just put it under my eyes and I'm starting with a little at a time. Oh wow. A little goes a long way. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try and blend this out. I like that. Very natural as you can. This side I'm going to try with my finger just to see if it uh, can be on those, you know, get up and go and cover up what you can with the concealer. You know those days when you're running late and you're like, I ain't got time to beat my whole face. Oh wow, you get more coverage with your finger. Oh yeah. 
you definitely get more coverage in the finger. I'm just going to continue and blend this out. Blend so they look the same. So I'm just adding one more layer. I feel like I got more coverage with my finger than I did with blending it out with the sponge. Wow, that looks really look at it. So long. Okay, so now on to the actual powder. So in the powder. It says, light as air, setting photo finish for all. Um, it says, apply with the powder puff setting brush to set foundation, concealer, and contour. Well, I don't generally use a uh, powder brush unless I'm buffing. Like, I'm actually baking and I need to buff it off. So I'm going to just apply it with the beauty blender and then buff it off with the... Uh... Oh, does it come with a puff? Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's the <laughs> it's the uh, filter that goes on, or the um, sifter that goes onto the powder. This is so cute. It's so posh looking. And again, I picked up in the color in honey. Oh, that's neat. So it's just there to like close your powder so it doesn't spill onto your cap. That is, that is something, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put the lid back on, shake some out. There's the powder. So let me just, there's no creases. Usually with my NARS concealer, I just blend out the creases and then apply the powder. Okay. It looks a lot more bright brightening on the camera than it does in person. In person, it looks really natural. Let's blend this out. Oh, and this is just my Sephora Versa. The Sephora Mini 55.5 brush, just a powder brush. So I'm gonna dust off this powder. Okay, I went ahead and already finished my face off camera. All I did was add some mascara, some bronzer, and um, I added my Fenty Fenty Glow lip gloss alongside with the lip liner. I used my NYX lip liner in brown just to like. You know, give, give some more definition, make it more of a browner hue. But this is my finished face, and I'm thinking maybe I'll just add my Fenty Beauty since we're doing all Fenty. Um, what is it? How many carrots highlighter? I don't feel like this highlighter be getting as much hype as it probably should because it's really pretty, and I'm always getting compliments when I wear it. I'm gonna tap my brush a little bit to it and just. So yeah, really right now, like, my first impressions of this all is everything looks so, like, natural. Like, right now I'd already be creasing, I'd actually take my sponge with my NARS concealer and buff out the creases before I go and do whatever I need to do, but I do not see any creases. I feel like it, like not fills your pores but doesn't accentuate your pores it does really well it doesn't show on the box that advertised like covers up pores but it looks so natural and it doesn't look ashy which sometimes i can get with my laura mercier depending on like what i'm doing like if i'm beating like if i'm baking my face with my laura mercier i have to be careful not to beat it or not beat it <laughs> not to bake for too long because Sometimes it can have like a, a grayish undertone, even though it has a yellow 
hue to the powder, it still is in the most flattering. I wish they had a shade between their translucent and their medium deep translucent shade because... But this looks like it's somewhere in the middle. It's really, it's a really fine powder. I wouldn't say it's finer than the Laura Mercier powder, but granted, it has, it does have um, some pigment to it, so I'm sure, I don't know. I'm not really familiar on how powders work, but I don't think it's as thin as the Laura Mercier one, but it's thin enough to where like, you don't feel you don't feel like there's powder really on your face. It just really look, feels really light on your face. It doesn't feel cakey. Um, in conjunction with the Pro Filter Foundation, that already feels like basically like moisturizer on your face. It feels really light, and um, I love wearing this every day. And um, yeah, I really like the powder. I really like the concealer. I feel like I can go a little brighter with the concealer. I don't know if it's the concealer or the powder that I'd want to go lighter in. Probably the concealer, but still. This made this so easy to go to Sephora, I just walk in, saw 350, I swatched it on my hand and I swatched my usual concealer shades as well in, in comparison and it was right up my alley. I was really afraid that this was going to be really neutral because the foundation I wear is neutral but I'm generally a lot more golden in foundation shades when I do find my foundation in a, in a when I do find my shade in a foundation range from a company. So this is my initial and first impressions of the new Fenty Beauty releases. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked it enough, maybe you're going to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please go ahead and comment down below. Like this video if you liked it. And I will be back soon with more videos. 2019 will be my year. It has to be the setup for 2020. You feel me? No. All right. Well, I really enjoyed making this video. I enjoyed testing these products. And um, yeah, you will be hearing from me soon. All right. Until then, thank you for watching. Peace and love.